Former President Donald Trump and his advisers are planning their next steps in the legal and political battle he is facing in the United States. Many voters say his indictment will have no impact on his 2024 campaign, some even suggesting it could be beneficial. For Jose Davila, politics is not a dirty word. I would like to see uh, Trump again in, in, in White House. The Republican from Luzerne County, Pennsylvania, couldn't wait to discuss former President Donald Trump's indictment. We are losing our country. Davila was leaning towards Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, but he says the injustice of the charges against Trump changed his mind. I was thinking to vote for DeSantis, now I am thinking to, go, to vote for, for Trump. So that, this, this is the effect that is causing this, this, this stuff. Luzerne is one of the few counties that voted for President Obama twice and then flipped in 2016 and 2020 for President Trump. I was a Democrat, but I ain't no more. Scott Rapella from Wilkesbury told us he became a Republican because he thinks Trump is being attacked unfairly. He was elected in 2016. It's now 2023. You wait all that time to indict him. It's just, to me, it's all because... They attacked me. But Rapella is concerned about the former president's intensifying rhetoric against Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. I think he should keep his mouth shut. I mean, I think he's shooting himself in his foot. But, I mean, he can say what he wants to say, I guess. Down the road in Plymouth Borough, Republican Kim Ellard voted for President Trump twice, but with his legal issues, is on the fence now. I'm not certain that I would support him in 2024. I'm not certain even that he's, you know, um, completely innocent. I'm just saying that I do feel as though it's politically motivated. It's all made up. It's a farce. They're trying to keep him out of office. Republican Craig Ictor says he is adamantly against the charges. Did yesterday's charges change if you would support him in 2024? No. I'm not saying I'm going to vote for him. Uh, there are other uh, candidates on the uh, Republican side. Luzerne liberals and other Trump opponents we spoke with were united, saying the former president is getting what he deserves. Excited that he's finally going to hopefully pay for some of the things that he's done. I think I felt relief more than anything else. A county and country still divided after those 34 charges.